Hey guys, my name is Iman and this is the second tutorial on time series analysis and forecast. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to remove season, uh, trend and seasonality. So before I explain that part, let me just explain the notation that I'm going to use for the rest of this presentation. If you have a, a signal which is shifted in time domain, you can present that signal as the original yt multiplied by the shift operator. So, for example, if you shift it by one unit, you can present it at z minus 1 multiplied by yt. Again, this is our shift operate, operator. Or you shift it by three units, again, z minus 3 multiplied by yt. So that's the notation that I'm going to use for the rest of this presentation. Now, let's go back to the problem, how to remove trend. In general, if you want to remove trend, you need to multiply your signal with this term or you need to filter your signal with this filter. 1 minus z minus 1 power d. d is a positive integer, and it can be 1, 2, 3, depends on the nature of this signal. For example, if you are working with a linear, uh, if yt is a linear function, or has a linear trend, in this case, d is 1. So, in order to remove trend, all you need to do is to filter yt with this filter. Again, I set d to 1 because this signal has a linear trend. So if you filter your signal with this filter and do some uh, simplification, you end up with 1. As you can see, by multiplying yt with this term, trend is gone. Another example. Let's say we have a quadratic function. yt has a, a quadratic trend. In this case, if you want to remove trend, all you need to do is to multiply your signal with this term. 1 minus z minus 1 power 2. As you can see, I set d to 2 because our process, yt, has a quadratic trend. So, after some simplification, you end up with 2. Again, as you can see, the trend is gone. Now, Let's talk about uh, how to remove seasonality. Let's say yt is a periodic function, and we know the fundamental period of this function is s. In order to remove uh, seasonality, all you need to do is to multiply yt with this term, or filter yt with this filter. s is our fundamental period. Again, by doing some simple calculation, it means in order to remove seasonality, we need to subtract signal from its shifted version by S units. Again, S is our fundamental period. Just as an example, let's say we have this uh, sinusoidal function. And as you know, sinusoidal function is periodic. And the period here is 6. In order to remove uh, seasonality, all you need to do is to multiply yt with this term. So I set s to 6 because, as I said, the period is 6. Again, if you do some calculation, you end up with this. And based on trigonometry, this is sine. And they can cancel out each other. And you end up with 0. So as you can see, by multiplying yt with this filter, we can remove season, uh, seasonality. So, in next tutorial, I'm going to explain uh, how to work with the random fluctuation after removing seasonality and trend. Thanks for watching this tutorial.